Let me show you guys what's happening. Let me impress you with my high flute and science. Well, unfortunately, the Northwest will be dealing with an onslaught of multiple storms over the course of the next a week or so. Very similar theme here. Now look at the coast here. Yeah, that's going to go downhill from here. Conditions expected to worsen in the Pacific Northwest and because we have storm after storm. And of course, have a plan B set in place. Did she just say have a plan B? So even as you're merrily going down the roads, you're going to have to do so pretty carefully because uh, there's going to be rain on rain on rain up to 18 inches in spots. Ladies and gentlemen, we have rain on rain on rain and storm on storm on storm. You know what that means? It's time to take the weird weather watch up a notch. Asteroid Fight Club is in session. Let's go. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the Button, baby. It's been unsettled all day long this Thursday. It is going to be a stormy pattern for the Pacific Northwest right through the weekend. We have two more storms to deal with, and they will progressively get worse. Each bringing with it very heavy rainfall and ferocious winds. We could give thanks to this area of low pressure that continues to strengthen here in the Pacific, drawing in all the moisture here. Now, this is all associated with post-tropical storm Sagna. It moves all the way to the West Coast by the weekend. We're talking about this tropically charged system that is going to have abundant moisture with it, uh, huge waves, very high winds. A lot of rainfall with this system, but a lot of wind, too. And we could see hurricane force wind gusts. And you'll also notice those waves along the coast throughout the day on Saturday really going to be beating that coastline. Again, notice that moist, rich, rich uh, moisture feed continuing to slide its way into Oregon and also into portions of the Washington. So definitely have to take action and be careful as well because when we have high wind warnings, something we are concerned about is down trees and power lines. Something we have to watch out for is a power outages. We're talking about today and also into tonight. Already raining around Seattle and Portland, but unfortunately the rains will only get heavier as the low pressure continues to strengthen. So the first one that arrives on Friday, it will bring a lot of rain. Friday could see the higher gusts, 60 to even 80 miles per hour, especially along the coast, 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, for much of the area from Portland and even back into interior sections like Spokane and also into Boise, Idaho. And so here all along the Interstate 5, we are concerned about damaging wind gusts, also some extremely heavy rainfall that could cause some flooding, some travel delays. Wind speeds here are going to be extremely high on the order of potentially hurricane force. But even some gusty winds getting in towards Seattle and also into Portland, down the five toward Medford. And then as we get toward tonight and especially into Friday, we'll start to see the winds, the gusty winds more so fan out to, to cover more so the majority of the intermounts in Northwest. And so now we bring into mind I-84, I-90, and also Interstate 15. So we're gonna be talking about a lot of travel delays, especially if you're driving one of those high profile vehicles, it's gonna make it a little more difficult and also through some of the major airports. And if that's not enough, but this is just ahead of our next potent or more violent storm system that is said to approach our area as we head into Saturday. With this one, we're talking about dangerous winds. We're talking about hurricane force winds. I could see wind gusts past 75 miles an hour, especially along the coast. The second round that comes in this weekend is really going to be uh, something of note. That is not only going to bring rain, but significant wind and waves. The winds is going to be one of the biggest uh, factors associated with the system. There's your high wind alerts, and it's not just that. Look at the forecast wave heights. Those are going to be impressive too. Heavy rain and of course travel delays. And of course the rainfall. Now they need it, but this is going to be a lot of rain at once. Some places could get upwards of a foot. We're going to be talking about numerous power outages, the potential for widespread down trees and also property damage. And then you're going to see the snow in the higher elevations. And after this system, we are concerned for another one. So a series of systems blasting its way across the northwest regions. Brace yourself, Washington, Oregon, and possibly northern and central California. You are about to get pummeled by hurricane force winds. We're going to have wild, mega massive angry waves banging on shore and tropically charged winds. So get ready, be prepared, and don't feel guilty if you're not smart Mother Nature. Thanks to former Typhoon Song day. So we have former typhoon song day. And it's like somebody's going to shoot him out of a rifle right at the Pacific Northwest coast of the United States. Don't believe me? Just watch. This is for adults only. Now watch this. And then it goes like boom. And somebody shot out of a cannon. It's coming straight towards America. 
on Saturday. It's going to be a total of four storms all together that will last through the week. So I need you to get ready, because this ain't funny. Mother Nature's acting crazy. Don't be a dummy. This is going to cause hurricane-type winds anywhere from 50 to 100 miles an hour. It's going to be cray-cray, as the kids say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as the weather people have said, it could be cold, wet, windy, and intense. So we got a lot of rain and a lot of hurricane-style wind coming to central and northern California, Oregon, Washington, and that place that's above America. I believe it's called Canada. I guess I didn't know what the place above America was called until Colin Motter's head taught me. Thanks, man. See, that's how it works. I teach you, and you teach me. I should say Surrey in a hurry. Don't be fooled by my jovial nature. I use it to stay semi-sane. Now, this situation is very serious, because, as I like to say, the sun acts weird, the weather acts weird, and then people act weird. And so, last weekend, the East Coast got pounded with Hurricane Matthew. Right now, Bermuda's getting pounded by Hurricane Nicole. And then, on Friday, and into Saturday, Northern and Central California will be getting hit hard as well. So the Indian Ocean has been wild, wacky, and weird. You thought the Atlantic was crazy? Check out what's happening over there. That is just freaking nutso, man. It's like our atmosphere is getting shredded or something. Or our magnetic field is getting super weak. All I'm asking is that you prepare. Because technically I'm like the godfather of the world. And I need everybody to get cooler, smarter, kinder, more patient, have better ideas, and work together as a team. Because you all need to remember, we're all in this together. We are one Earth family. And it's time we unite to solve our problems. Because check out this freaking map, man. That is scary. We got a lot of problems. <laughs> and we got no leaders. And everybody's all mad and blaming everybody else for everything. So, this is the time where we rise, solve all the problems, and put in a civilization and a society that will last for a thousand years. Where everybody prospers and everybody wins. You may say that it's impossible, but it's not. Anyway, I'll keep doing updates on this thing through tomorrow, I imagine. So it is now 3 o'clock Pacific time. I'll try and have another report out in about 5 hours. So that you guys know, dealio. I ain't fear-mongering, bro. Just showing you the situation. And look at the ocean. You know, it's like we got a dipole planet. Which means we got four magnetic poles as opposed to the one we used to have. Ain't that right, baby? Quadrupole. Quadrupole. And if you almost look, it's like ghosts. It's like ghosts. Spirits. Spinning about the top of the globe. Man, I'm in a good mood today. Alright. So that's it. These are almost tests now. So let's pass them, shall we? Be prepared. But don't over-prepare. So that if this storm isn't that major... You get very upset and you've wasted money. And of course, have a plan B set in place. Wow, did she just say have a plan B? I don't remember a weather person ever saying I have a plan B before. I like it though. I definitely have a plan B. Because all we do here is evaluate the worst case scenario, try to prepare for it. You don't really have to prepare for a best case scenario. If it happens, you just celebrate it. Now this storm is deadly. If you don't take it seriously. Don't be surprised if your lights turn off. Let me show you guys what's happening. Let me impress you with my highfalutin science. I pray. 